Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with American Vineyard Magazine reporting to you from Fresno State's uh, Vineyard here. We just had Grape Day, had a great lineup of presentations including a wine growing panel which included Tim Holt here from E&J Gallo Fresno. We talked about how to better prepare grapes for the wineries to make quality wines in the Central Valley and some of the key indicators when it's time for harvest. What are we looking for? Uh, obviously there's more than just bricks to consider these days so what can you tell us about that? Yeah in the old days it was pretty much bricks TA and pH that we uh, made decisions about when to harvest our grapes now we're looking we're out in the fields and we're tasting berries so berry flavor in the vineyards is important and also we look for key chemical markers uh, those might be we do a lot of muscat in Fresno that might be terpene such as linalool and geraniol where are those levels that are going to make the great wines? So we've been typically harvesting at a little lower bricks, but optimizing the linalool content. On reds, it's a different situation. We'll, uh, we'll look at chemical markers such as uh, beta-damascanone, which is the dark fruit flavor, methoxypyrazines, which is the bell pepper character, uh, polymeric tannins, quercetin glycosides, and total anthocyanins. Those are things that contribute to the quality of the wine, so those things are important for us to analyze for as the harvest is progressing. Thank you, Tim. Looks like harvest has already started here in the Central Valley. We're looking forward to a great harvest, so keep these indicators and, and markers that we talked about in mind uh, when harvesting this season and, and in the future. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.